Back in the 18th century, when romance was in bloom, and Louis XV wasn't just a sofa in a room, a simple little country girl who knew a thing or two got very, very chummy with his majesty, King Lou. The people disapproved of her in no uncertain tone. Still, they'd agree that Madame D was a power behind the throne. Behind her back, they called her names. On that, we will not tarry. But to her face, with elegant grace, they said, Madame du Barry. Madame, Madame, they said, Madame du Barry. Perhaps she was a gorgeous little hussy from Bordeaux. But there's one thing we positively, absolutely know. Dewberry was a lady, no matter what they may say. Dewberry was a lady, the fairest gal of her day. She had to pull no strings for the king's blessing. He fell in love with her. French dressing to marry this to Barry was every nobleman's goal. And put them all together, they'd fill the Hollywood Bowl. I couldn't tell you how, but she got along. And if she was no lady, 50 million Frenchmen were wrong. Though she started out in squalor, and though her past was shady, you can bet your bottom dollar. She ended up Isn't she wonderful? Just another female woman. Take away her eyes, her nose, her mouth, and her ears. And what have you got? A blank expression. Ah, she's wonderful. You never look at me like that. You never look like that. Louie, if you're not doing anything after work, I'd like to take you home. No, not after last night. Oh, you could never be happy here. Please marry me and let me take you away from all this. And after we're married and settled down in our little love nest, maybe the store could come to our house and bring us a lot of little cigars, cigarettes, chewing gum. Dewberry was a lady. Oh, what a lady was she. The men still raved about her the last time I saw Perry. With wealthy knights, she was charming. Please be very careful with this. It's Kalinsky. Would you give me a check, please? Shh. That's May Daly. Who? May Daly. Oh. That's May Daly. It doesn't matter now how she got along If she was double dating Dewberry was okay And if her life was shady When you are we to say But if she was no lady, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 million Frenchmen were wrong Can't you see I'm hungry for a kiss? You're just hungry. Come on, Louie, let's have a crepe, Suzette. Huh? No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you, no. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not in the mood for food. It's lovely. It's tempting. Fit for a king, I know. Your cooking's a work of art. 
But when you're with me, why be so a la carte? Madam, I love your crepe Suzette. I think your crepe Suzette is wonderful. But for the moment, let's forget all about your crepe Suzette. Madam, I love your cheese souffle. I think your cheese souffle is marvelous. But when you look at me that way, how can I eat cheese souffle? I regret to say I'm unable to partake of your table. You'd be more delish account of your my favorite dish. Madam, if I don't touch a bite, it's not because I've lost my appetite. I want what you've got plenty of. Madam, I came here for love. You can use this now. No, no, that's a friendship ring, and nothing's ever gonna break up our friendship. All right. We'll always be pals, huh? If you ever need anything, just SOS. Gee, thanks, May. If you're ever in a jam, here I am. If you ever need a pal, I'm your gal. If you ever feel so happy that you land in jail, I'm your bail. It's friendship, friendship, just a perfect friendship. When other friendships have been forgot, ours will still be hot. If you ever if you ever make a flop, call for a pop. If you ever take a boat and get lost at sea, write to me. It's friendship, friendship, just a perfect blend. Rather, friendships have been forget, ours will still be in. If you're ever down the well, ring my bell. If you're ever up a tree, a phone to me. If you ever lose your teeth when you're out to dine, bar mine. Thank you. It's friendship, friendship. Just a perfect blend ship But their friendships have ceased to gel Ours will still be swell You know, Jeannie, I never appreciated you till now. Can we still be friends? Absolutely not. If they ever black your eyes, put me in white. If they ever cook your goose, turn me loose. If they ever put a bullet through your brain, I'll complain. It's friendship, 